Okay, so I wasn't even gonna start this video, but well, not not yet, but I'm gonna start it now because it's gonna be a long. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The point is, hi guys, welcome to our back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing absolutely nothing as per usual. But before we hop into it, let's hop into it. Oh my god. So for those of you who don't know, which is literally everybody, I love Jordan Lucas. I love Jordan Lucas. That's like literally my top favorite rapper of all freaking time. I love Jordan Lucas so much. And guess what? I'm seeing him in concert on Sunday. It's Wednesday right now, and so basically I have only a few days before I zoom, and I'm so freaking excited. I'm so freaking excited. But um. Um, I really want to learn his like songs. He's he's okay. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm all over the place. Hey, hey, hey. fucking niggas talking about bitch. guys okay so i do have some prep to do one of the things that i wanted to do was shave my mustache so basically long story short i've had this like mustache i feel like in certain angles you can see it more than others like okay i think you can i think you can really see it there you can can you see it, <laughs> can you see it? no no they can't see it So yeah, I've had a mustache for pretty much as long as I can remember. But the point is, now that I'm filming and stuff like that, and I want to have this little YouTube channel, it's not that I'm being over analytical about like my appearance or whatever, whatever, because I love the way I look or whatever. But I don't know, it's just kind of like uh, the mustache. It's kind of, it's a bit strong, I think, and it's, I think it's time for it to go. So I wanted to wax it though instead of shaving it because obviously I've heard shaving it grows it back stronger, and so I was like, don't want that. But if it grows back thinner, then I think I'll just leave it alone so over the past literally probably the past week I've been making a sugar wax it took me forever forever for me to get the sugar wax right so without further ado <laughs> this looks a mess this looks a literal mess but I promise you it is fine now so basically the first step in shaving <clears throat> or waxing I should say, is using some sort of like cornstarch or like baby powder or whatever to get the area real nice and dry. So, okay, so basically I'm gonna take some, <laughs> I'm gonna take some cornstarch and um, no, no, I'm gonna take some cornstarch and I'm going to try to wax myself. Let's, let's see how this goes. Hey there. <laughs> you know what? This is a look. <laughs> it's a look, isn't it? It's a look. Nah, I'm playing. Wow. Maybe I should put more cornstarch. I've seen people use pretty generous amounts, so. <laughs> oh god. It's giving euphoria. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to breathe, but wow. I think that's too much. Hold on. The way you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to apply the sugar wax in like the opposite direction of the hair and then pull it in the direction of the hair. So I'm gonna apply the sugar wax like this and then I'm gonna pull it down like that. Uh, ready? Here goes nothing. So, <laughs> this is so ghetto. <laughs> in my, I saw my last vlog thingy video and I was like, oh, don't worry, it's gonna be like 10 times better this time. It is not, it is not 10 times better. I'm not even sure if it's one time better. It's still a mess, so. Oh my God, I'm gonna watch this thing back and laugh. And that's the point, to have a good time. Ready? Oh God, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Ready? Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Oh! Ooh! Oh! God. Oh! Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, you gotta do moldy three times. Oh god. Let's see. One, two, three, and then. Ooh! Oh! 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 Oh no. Oh my god, that hurt. One, two, three. At this point, it's not even a Jordan Lucas concert video anymore. It's just a freaking masochist video. Totally joking. Like, completely take out the sexual part. It was just, it was just a joke. I'm not actually, I'm not, I'm not. 
I'm a freak that a masochist. Because why do I keep that hurt? That hurt. All right, are you guys ready for the final reveal? My upper lip is stinging. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, you see I look bald. You guys! Today is the day of the concert! <laughs> I am so freaking excited. The fact that I have to go to work again, literally in chain! Why do I have to go to work? I work 6 to 2 today though, so that's fine. I'ma just clock in and clock out and just call it a day. It's like 5.41 though right now and I'm waiting for the bus, so I will see you guys later. But I am so freaking excited. I'm so excited. Okay, bye. I'm so ready to quit. I'm so ready to quit, bro. Like, so ready to quit. Hey you guys, it's me, I'm back. So, today is the day I see Jordan Lucas! I am so freaking excited. When I tell you I've never been this excited for anybody's concert, like, the thing is, I feel like I'm not actually really excited right now, but like, once I start to get ready, and once I start to like, blast his music on the way there, I'm gonna be like, oh, oh, I'm about to see Jordan Lucas! Oh! Oh! Like, I'm so freaking happy. I'm so freaking excited. But with that being said, we still do have a checklist to tend to, so let's do that. All right, so I wrote like a little tiny um list of a couple things that I need to do, and one of them are memorize his songs. I am starving right now. When I say starving, I mean literally starving. So I need to eat something. Well, I, the point is, I need to make sure that I memorize his songs. Now, granted, I did not memorize all of his songs, but with that being said, though, I think I know a decent portion of them, so we're gonna go through his whole album really quickly, and we're gonna make sure that we know everything. He's got a total of 18 songs on the album, and so we're gonna run through them right quick and see if we know them. But if we don't, then it's that's too bad. <laughs> Let's go! Let's have a good time. Connected to Bluetooth. <laughs> I always do that, bro. I jumped out of heaven because Lucifer paid me. I needed the money to buy a Mercedes. <laughs> Man, where you at now? I'm a hit and take jump and I ain't tripping. It's enough and I've been living in the budget. I got a hell of a couple of birds. What the hell I got? But how you gonna walk if you ain't got shoes? Shine shoe boots. Party at. Late, how a party at? I just wanna know where the party at. I'ma leave your ass where I got you at. Song seven. This is Devil's Work. I don't know this song at all, so yikes. We're just gonna have to skip it. It's my birthday, I'm about to get lit lit. Take one eye open, I'm good, Rick. Click, clack, we wanna be red. Yeah! Come on! Move, 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 get out the way. Ooh, 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 hey! I'm a dog, man, 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 lick dog. I'm convinced that that footage came out nothing like how I anticipated it and I might just have to cut out everything. But in the event that I like it, I hope that you like it too and I hope that you're entertained by it. Okay, so now that we've memorized his songs, um, number three is to find an outfit, but I'm starving right now, so I'm gonna do number four, which is make and pack some food. So follow me to the kitchen. <laughs> I said follow me. That means come along. Yes, bro. Let's go. Okay, so this is cool or whatever, but oh my god. Go down someone. I don't know. I was thinking I could wear it like this. Like, oh no, that looks bad, huh? No, that looks terrible. It doesn't look bad, it looks terrible. Maybe with these Hello Kitty pants? <laughs> this, oh no, this looks so bad. <laughs> no! What about this with this? 
Who do I think I am? Where am I going? I don't even know. Yes, sir, I think. You look like an IG model. Walk with a bottle. About to shake like a Coke bottle. Oh, and I was thinking of wearing this with it. Well, like, well, not really, but like, it matches. A anyways. But so do these, and these are, okay, anyways. <clears throat> this is an outfit, right? Oh, shoes. I'm not doing it. No, I don't like it. Not for this, at least. Maybe like for school one day, but like, nah, I don't know what to wear. You know what? I'm just gonna wear what I was gonna wear, which is a red hoodie and then some pants and then some sneakers and then some necklaces. Yeah, this gives me very much Jordan Lucas vibe, so let me put it on. Yay! The only thing is I do need a shirt to go underneath it because I can't just wear this like this. I'm not sure if it's gonna be hot or not. And you guys, I really have to go. I don't even know what I'm doing like sitting here talking to a camera. Like I literally need to go. I need to go. I freaking need to go. I need to go. Okay, I'm gonna wear this shirt. NBA, HBCU. I think I'm gonna wear my white pants. <laughs> I look so freaking crazy right now. <laughs> As summer neck, I'm stunning. Okay, now to put on my shoes. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The amount of effort that transition took. I hope it actually looks good. Nope. I've got these little earrings that say faith on them. I've got these little earrings that say faith on them because I have faith that I'm going to have a good time and be safe. Okay, you guys, this is the completed look. Um, It's this shirt that I told you guys about earlier and these pants, the white pants. And I completely forgot I had these red pants, but it would have been too much red. And then, of course, still this Nike sweater just in, gets, just in case it gets cold. Okay, see you guys there. Bye. Oh my goodness, you guys. You do that every single day. And soon you have a wall. And soon you have a wall. Okay, I'm officially walking there right now and I don't know like I'm I'm like I'm excited but I'm also like so nervous for some reason I don't know why I'm nervous for like it's literally just a concert I don't even have to do anything or meet anybody but like I'm lucky scared because I'm going by myself but like it's gonna be okay ah! oh my freaking goodness wait where's the dam oh my god Wait a minute, that's not Jordan Lucas. Who's that? Who is that? This was also not Turner Lucas. He looked like the baby Let's though. Go. Let's go. Okay, y'all got this shit. Let's turn the fuck. I'm trying to stay legit, shit, but this shit ain't making me rich. It's about that motherfucking time, Fillmore. How y'all feel out there?
excuse my dear aunt horrific camera angles once again bro i've never been to a concert like i think <clears throat> I've never lost my voice before in life, but I think today's the day because I was screaming so freaking much and I think my hearing's kind of gone. <clears throat> Damn, I can't even. Oh, shoot. I think I might have lost my voice. I've never, I've never lost my voice in my life before. So just wow. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Oh, hell no. I can't even hear myself. What the, am I deaf? I think I'm deaf. Hold on. I'm going to check in with y'all later. Bye. Burger fight is freaking closed. There goes, there goes my, there goes my plan. All right, so <clears throat> I can't even talk. <laughs> so unfortunately, <clears throat> I can't even like when I tell you my hearing is like, what the frick? Like, whoa, what the frick? But I'm, I'm not going to get burger fried because it's closed. And I, I hate to go to McDonald's, but it looks like it's open and home is like over an hour away. All I have is some bars with me. I'm not going to lie to you. I have two bars and I'm pretty hungry. And I'm not going to lie to you. I felt like I was about to pass out at that damn concert. But you know what? it's all good because we made it we made out the hood um, like literally i had so much fun. i'm gonna have to talk to you guys later but like <clears throat> I, <laughs> my voice i had so much fun why am i yelling can you hear me like i, I feel like i'm screaming because i can't hear myself can you hear me what the fuck again okay let me stop let me stop goodbye and oh my god okay so one thing about me is that i don't curse like i'll say a few words here and there like i got my select few but like i, I don't like to make like i don't curse for real for real like i don't say the b word i don't say the um the f word the a word the s word you know what i mean like i, I just that's just not my like mo but when i was at the concert i think i accidentally said the b word i was so hyped like i think i like yeah no i think i said it i'm I don't like cursing because it's so off brand for me and i just feel so like i like i just re betrayed myself but like real talk though like i think i did oh oh now you can't speak english oh uh, 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 now you can't speak english no nah, but for real though i don't even remember what song it was i think i said big but like i kind of like hit the t and then uh, kind of hit the c but like not the h so i didn't curse bro I, I i didn't curse I didn't curse. <laughs> I didn't curse. No. Okay, so I'm in the McDonald's bathroom right now, and thankfully there's nobody else in here. Oh, I have to pee so bad. Hold on. For those of you back who actually eat McDonald's on a regular basis, if you're not using the app, why not? I just got a McChicken, a spicy. Who cares? The point is you can get one dollar large fries with the app every day. Prices may vary in your region. So tap in. If you're not tapped in, tap in. It's the way I'm gonna get them to crash, bro. Look. Let's go. Look at the dollar meal, bro. Eight total. Free. Large fries. A dollar. A dollar and six cents in total. Shopping. This is so ghetto. I'm so sorry. This is so ghetto. Bruh, this was literally me trying to set up a little aesthetic montage shot and then the train started moving and I guess I didn't realize it was going to move and so yeah. Panicking, frantic that the phone would fall down. <laughs> that was absolutely phenomenal. Hi guys. Hey you guys, so it's much later. It is currently October 13th right now. I went to the concert September 25th. So it has been damn near a month since I went to the Jordan Lucas concert. And I wrote down some notes on my laptop about what happened. I'm gonna try to make this as brief as possible. But long story short, the concert was absolutely phenomenal. Like when I tell you I had a blast. Me and Jordan Lucas were making eye contact. Okay, so basically I got regular tickets. I didn't have VIP tickets because I didn't have VIP type of money. The stage was so close. I was practically front row. Like that was like as front as, as I could get. And so I was just like, what the frick? Like I was under the impression that it was gonna be like a much bigger venue, but no, I was up close and personal. I was like, oh my goodness. So fast forward, I was just having a blast. Like when I was standing there before the concert actually started, they were playing like some music and like people were vibing to it and stuff like that. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it was not a lot of black people. Like the majority of the people were not black. And so me being one of the few black representatives in my head, I'm thinking like, oh, like let me let me be black and cool and 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 groovy and and rhythmy and vibe because you know black people we got the sauce and me i can't dance and i don't know about that whole rhythm thing if i got I'm pretty sure i don't have it but the point is people were like dancing or whatever whatever doing a thing and so i was like okay let me dance too and 
Y'all, when I tell you I was stiff as a board, I swear to God, I was literally standing there at the concert like. <laughs> like it just, it won it. <clears throat> I mean, y'all see me dance, so I don't even know why that's a surprise. You ain't got shoes. So fast forward, as I was waiting for the concert to start, I was standing next to this white lady. We gonna call her Messy Jessie because she was a mess. She was very much drunk, very much off the, off a burger too. I don't know, but the point is she was that. I'm standing near her and she was talking to this black guy behind her and they're talking, they're talking. I'm not really paying attention to their conversation. Somehow I end up in their conversation and so now we're all talking to whatever, whatever and she was there alone. And so she was just like, oh, who are you here with? Are you here with anybody? And I was like, no, I'm here by myself. And she was like, oh my God, me too. Me too, I'm here alone. I'm a little drunk. And I was like, Okay. The only reason why I'm really bringing her up is because the black guy behind her, she started like twerking on him at some point like during the concert or like even before the concert actually started. And like, I don't know, the black guy was giving me very much, we're gonna call him George. George was giving me very much like happy-go-lucky, cheery kind of like goofy goofball sort of vibes. And so he was like, I don't want to say he was feeling it though. Like I just feel like he was like, he was like holding onto her hips or whatever, but it was just kind of like a Okay. Like I don't know, I just feel like he wasn't really like feeling it, but she was all I don't know what she was doing. She was, like I said, messy Jesse. She was being a mess. While they were doing that, I was feeling very much uncomfortable. Like, what is going on? Uh, it's kind of giving me cringe. But I'm just gonna ignore it because I didn't come here for y'all. I came here for Joyner. Fast forward, Joyner comes on the stage. When I tell you I'm hooting and hollering and hollering and hooting, I was just sitting there screaming so loud. Like in the end clips, you could see that I literally like, in the end clips, you could literally see that I like lost my voice. I couldn't hear myself because I swear I was screaming so loud. I was just like, can I never like ISIS woo, turn the whole world to a crisis woo. Like I was really just like out of there. Like that is my top, top one, like my number one favorite rapper. And so I was just like, this is the place to be. Like he was doing what he needed to do. He was rapping, he was singing, he was moving, he was bumping, he was vibing with the crowd, he was vibing with him. Like, oh my God, it was such a good time. A kid ended up fainting actually. Like that was before the concert even started. Like while they were playing like the music, the music was super loud. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but the kid just fainted. He was sort of like a few people down from me. And so somebody had pointed it out. Security came and grabbed him real quick, but they were like really good about that. Um, They took him out to a corner, they got him some water, whatever, and then he kind of recovered. And so I really appreciate that they actually like, cared about that. Fast forward, there was this part where, oh my God, like the concert was literally so cool. So like I said, Joyner is literally right there. Like when I tell you me and Joyner Lucas made eye contact, I swear to God, on my life, on my soul, bro. My great, me and Joyner Lucas made eye contact. He, he looked at me, he looked at me in my eyes, bro. He looked at me in my eyes. He had made eye, he had made eye contact with me, with me. Like you see, I'm looking at you like this. He was looking at me like that. Sorry. <laughs> I'm being weird again. And at some point during the concert, he was saying something and then somebody started knocking on the door. Then he was like, nah, somebody come get the door, whatever. And it was this pizza delivery guy. And at that point I was like, oh bruh, something epic is about to happen. Like what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen? I was like, wait a minute, like are we gonna get pizza? Show no, y'all. So basically he was like, who has money to tip the pizza guy? And people start pulling out money. And so I'm like, hold on, let me get my cash. Let me get my cash, let me get my cash. I'm checking in my bag. But me, I never carry cash. So I was just like, damn, I know I don't have any cash. And somebody had pulled out like a hundred trying to give it to him. So whatever you want to tip him. And the people who gave him the money, he was like, okay, come up on the stage. And I was like, she get that out of box. You gotta sign that shit for her, man. Yes, sir! Jaw dropped. I was like, oh, I'ma find some money. And so I'm digging through my bag, digging, dig. I'm like, I'm gonna I'm gonna find me some cash because I'm getting on that stage. I'm getting on that stage. Didn't have any cash, and so me being the ghetto mess I am, child, is what I did. <clears throat> This, this. I literally pulled out the hand sanitizer that's in my bag and I'm literally sitting there waving it, flailing it. Me! Oh shoot. Me! <laughs> me! Jordan picked me with a little hand sanitizer. Jordan did not pick me because hand sanitizer is not money. He didn't even acknowledge my existence at that point. But it was all cool. People went onto the stage and I was like, oh my God, that's so epic. And he literally kept doing that the entire concert. Like he just kept bringing more and more people on. And I was just like, what the frick? Like I need to be on that stage. Like what? What? And they actually got to eat the pizza too. And I was like, oh my God, bro, I gotta get on that stage. So fast forward, um, they ended up putting like the rest of the pizza in the crowd, but it was like all the way toward like the right of me. So I couldn't really like access the pizza. I couldn't get no slice. But then that's when security came to take the box. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I, 
I almost stopped the security guard and was like, hey, let me get that box. Yeah, <laughs> Give me that box. Where are you going with it? I need it. That's a souvenir. But I was like, you know what? For real, what am I going to do with it? Like, I still have the rest of the concerts. Didn't end up getting the pizza box. But yeah, fast forward. Back to Messy Jesse who was standing next to me. So, like I said, I was in sort of like the second row. And one of the people like directly in front of me, midway through the concert, he leaves. So, I don't know if he went to use the bathroom or whatever. But naturally, it's a concert. It's a crowd. So, everybody's pushing people forward. And so, I get to be like literally completely in the front. And then, eventually, the guy comes back from the bathroom or wherever he came from. And then that's when Messy Jesse catches the guy coming back and she's like, No, no, she was there first. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? She was there first. No, she I got you. I got you. Don't worry. No, because I'm that's not fair. I don't like that he did that. Hey, she was there first. And I was like, sweetie, relax, calm down. Like I was actually he, he was actually in front of me. Yeah, no, 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 he, he was in front of me. And then she was like, oh yeah, really? When? When? Just now? And I was like, um, no, actually, he was there the whole time. To be honest, he was, he was, I'm in his place. Actually, I'm gonna move. I don't have no problem moving. Like, I, he, he. and she was just like, no, nah, I don't like that. I feel like I have to stand up for you. Doing the whole white savior thing, babes, we don't need your help. Thank you, appreciate it, bye. And you wanna know what the gag is? You wanna guess or you want me to tell you? Okay, I'll tell you since you didn't guess. I despise guessing games. Yeah, well, I don't. Oh, goody. Anyways, tell me why Jonah Lucas is singing one of his songs. I actually didn't even know what song this was, so I couldn't sing the lyrics. But with that being said, because I wasn't screaming the lyrics, I could hear everybody. And in the song, he said the N-word. And guess who was saying the N-word right along with him? Miss Messy Jesse. I was just like... <laughs> ah, Jewel. Damn, Jesse, it's like that. Hey, Jesse. Woo. That's crazy, bro. I, I was rooting for you. We were rooting for you. We, we were all rooting, rooting for, you. for you. How dare you, you learn something, something from, from this. this? Am I surprised? No. Disappointed? Yes. But not surprised. She did indeed yell the N-word at the literal top of her lungs. <laughs> like, that hurt. Especially because two seconds earlier, she was like, oh no, you're in her spot. But anyways, past that point, I was just keeping it real culture. I came here to see Joyner. I've seen Joyner. When it's time for me to leave, I'm a dude. I'm I got my shit and I do it. But yeah, y'all, I was feeling very much like, this is a crowd full of white people. So I'm like, if she's saying it in words, and the only reason why I heard it was because I'm not singing this time. Everybody else must have been saying the N word as well. I'm not really sure who was it, who wasn't saying the N word. Like, let me clutch my pearls a little closer to me because I ain't nothing but a wee little black girl from the South. I ain't trying to get snatched out here. I'm trying to see John and Lucas. And guy, I'm just going to have a dandy old time and then I'm going to make my way over home to town. But yeah, like I said, I had a blast. Like even when I was pulling out my hand sanitizer bottle, waving it around, hoping that, honestly, I was just hoping that John and Lucas would see my poverty ridden arse and be like, you know what? I know you ain't got the funds. But you can get the fun. You can get up on stage. And I was gonna be like, oh my god, Joy. I don't been listening to you for years now. He did not call me. Yeah, you guys, that was pretty much it. Except, oh my god. Did I tell you I touched Jordan Lucas? Nope. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I touched Joyner Lucas. Okay, he was like walking down from the stage. I was like, oh my god, oh my god. And sure enough, I did. He walked by and I said, like, ah! I touched Joyner Lucas. <laughs> yep, I touched him. And I'm gonna insert a video of when he was like super close in five, four, three, two, one, zero. So close. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, in that moment, I was just like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I was honestly trying to see if I can get close enough to smell him. Cause I wanted to know what he smelled like. I did not smell him. And there were people who were like grabbing at his chest all weird. And I was like, and his security, let me tell you, his security came in deep. They were swatting their hands away like flies. And I was like, you know what? I have no interest in being swatted away today. And so I was like, I'm not gonna try to reach for his chest. Like that's kind of weird. Like if I touch his arm on the side, that's like, you know, that's like something slight, but I'm not gonna be like, hun, 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 hun. like it's giving barbarian. So let me not do that. But with that being said, um, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed um, going to the concert. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed doing absolutely nothing with me. And yeah, see you later. Bye.
Oh my god, I just bumped my head. Now bitch, they done got a nigga started, I ain't stopping now, bitch. Can't walk in my shoes, these crocodile bitch. Let's to you niggas, no black and mouth, bitch.